Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, I am going to make what just might be my new favorite condiment, bacon jam. Sometimes the title of a recipe is so descriptive that you really don't need any further explanation. Bacon jam, I think, falls into that category. But just in case you do want an explanation, it's sweet, it's salty, it's a little spicy, it's savory, and it pretty much goes on anything. Now, before I start making this, just a couple things I want to point out. First off, if you are counting total carbs, this recipe is probably not for you. Also, if any of you feel like you're going to have a little panic attack based on the amount of onion in this recipe, I know Carb Manager says onion falls into the foods to avoid category. Just be aware that the amount per serving has a pretty negligible impact on total carbs. And although there are only two net carbs per serving, which is a tablespoon, this is the sort of very tasty condiment that you could potentially go overboard with. So pace yourself. And now let's make some bacon jam. We will start with one medium yellow onion, which we will dice fairly finely and then set aside. Next, we have two cloves of garlic, which we will crush with the side of a knife, and then peel, mince, and set this aside as well. Then we have one package of bacon. That's one pound here in the U.S., 450 grams metric. We're going to slice this into approximately one inch pieces. You don't have to be especially accurate because we're going to be frying it up in the vessel of your choice. For me, that's going to be a 12 inch cast iron skillet. I'll put this over medium heat and use a spoon to break it up into pieces. I want to cook this down until it's just on the edge of crispy. And once it's there, I'm going to use a slotted spoon to remove it to a bowl or a cutting board. Then I'm going to drain off some of my bacon fat. Save this stuff for later because this is liquid gold when it comes to cooking. I want to leave about two tablespoons, three tops, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan for frying up my onions and garlic. Speaking of which, here's my onions. One and a half cups diced. That's about 200 grams. My two cloves of minced garlic. One teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I'm going to heat this up to medium and cook, stirring occasionally, until my onions are golden brown and starting to get translucent. Meanwhile, I'm going to chop up my bacon. I want to get this fairly finely chopped, you know, about a quarter of an inch or so in size. And then I will add that to my golden brown and translucent onions. To this, I will add one tablespoon of my keto barbecue rub, which I will link to right there. Always good to have some of that in your pantry. One half cup or 85 grams of brown sugar replacement. I'm using Swerve. I feel this behaves the most like brown sugar. Then I have one third of a cup or 80 ml of sugar-free syrup. I'm using one of the Chalk Zero flavors. One third of a cup or 80 ml, once again, of apple cider vinegar. One quarter cup or 60 ml of brewed coffee. And finally, one tablespoon of sugar-free barbecue sauce. I'm using the G. Hughes right now because I'm all out of my homemade stuff. I like the G. Hughes stuff a lot. It's a really nice sugar-free brand. But if you want to make mine, here's the link right here. I will continue to cook this over medium heat until it reduces. That'll take 10, 15 minutes tops. I do not want it to be soupy. I want it to be thick and sticky so that when I drag a spoon through it, it leaves a nice path. Once I get it there, I'm going to turn off the heat, smooth it out, and let it sit and cool until it stops bubbling. And then I will scoop it into a storage container. I'm using a ramekin. That way I get a nice money shot for both the thumbnail and this gratuitous reveal. In terms of serving suggestions, basically anything you think bacon might go good with, this bacon jam goes great with. Put it on a burger, put it on a pork chop, put it on chicken, put it on a turkey roll up, put it on a breakfast sandwich. Really, it is that versatile. 
If you got some low carb bread, make yourself a grilled cheese. This goes great on a grilled cheese. You may find, depending on how much bacon grease you left in the frying pan, that there is a little bacon grease that separates. You can pour this off if you want, or just stir it in whenever you're having some of this bacon jam. For storage, I recommend keeping it in the fridge. It should last a week or two pretty easily. You will want to let it come out and warm up before you try spreading it on something, because once it's in the fridge, it's going to thicken up quite a bit. Now for my taste test, I'm just going to use some of these keto crackers that I found at Costco the other day and a slice of cheddar. And I would say I got about a half a teaspoon here, so one-sixth of a serving size. <laughs> that is pretty much one of the yummiest things I've ever tasted. Now, I will say that my son had some of this and he felt maybe for people that aren't into spice, you might want to dial back the red pepper flake to a half a teaspoon. But for me, this is great. It's just the perfect balance of all the flavors that I love. As always, I will include a link to the printable recipe with macros down in the description below. If you like this video, click that like button. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell to turn on all notifications. And lastly, if you'd like to help support the Serious Keto Test Kitchen, click that join button and see what memberships and perks are all about. Thanks for watching.